with Lucy Abrams. Today I'm going to show you how to combine Copic colouring with coloured pencils in order to make this card. I'm also going to show you um, how I created this card too. So firstly you want to stamp your image and you want to use Memento um, ink, it's the best ink. So ink the stamp up uh, really well and I'm using some nice glossy good quality white cardstock for this. So I'm stamping my image, um, pressing nice and hard but you get a really good crisp image. Um, however, I'm going to want to leave this to dry just for a few minutes, um, so I've pre-stamped one that I'm just going to use um, to speed up the process. So um, I'm using my Copics not particularly well and just um, layering, sh well, shoving the colour on very, very quickly and lightly uh, because I don't want it to be too heavy um, colour. So I've just streaked it up over, um, nice and simple. And now I'm taking a... Um, similar coloured coloured pencil and I'm adding some highlighting with the coloured pencil right from the edge of the um, image. I'm going to work my way um, all the way across the, uh, the bottom left hand corner of the image. I've just sped the video up a little bit but uh, you get the impression I'm just adding the coloured pencil where I need to, heavier in the bottom corner as well in order to build up the idea. Then I've taken my Copic again and I'm going to add extra highlighting especially down in that bottom left hand corner um, so that it looks like that's the part that's in shadow and then again taking my colour pencil again and just adding and layering until I think it's complete now I'll just show you what I did with the, the leaves and the stem and um, so just again very quickly shading the, the leaves I don't have to worry about going over the edges because I'm going to cut this out um, so super super quick not the proper way of using Copics I know but um, I like to do things my way <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, again just grab um, a colour pencil that's a very similar colour and just add that little bit of shading down the middle following the lines of the stamped image already because that already adds a bit of shading and that's that really um, then I'm just going to show you how I created the blue image um, for this one again I just took a, a light blue um, Copic. I'm using Copic Charles. Um, just very, very quick shading of the, the image. And again, take a coloured pencil. Now, you can see this time I worked really, really quickly, just um, really scribbling the colour on all the way around the edge because I want the highlighting on this one to be on the middle. So I really was just scribbling and scribbling. It doesn't really matter because the um, Copic colouring is so smooth that you can't see the lines of the coloured pencils even when you're finished. And then again, switching back to the uh, Copic marker and adding the extra bit of shading along the edges so that it gets uh, more and more light as you get into the middle of the image. Then shading again. Just keep going really until you're happy with your, um, with your, your level of shading. Really simple um, and creates a really nice effect on your overall card. So here's my final card, um, and I just thought I'd share with you how I added the stitching around the edge. Um, I pre-printed a panel um, using a digital stamp background, but I didn't want the stitching to so show through, so I actually um, uh, stitched and then adhered it to the panel, as you can see in the final um, production. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.